Hi guys, this is Cy from Cyanide Software. Today I wanted to talk about the viruses that are going around in 3D Studio Max. The LALC, CRP, and ADSL viruses. Um, you can get these from many different ways, and I have just opened up a fresh version of Max here, so there's nothing in here, it's just fresh, and we can even actually go, let's do a reset, and we'll just reset everything as well. So. We've put this tool in two different places. One is in Free Forensic. This is actually the licensed version, but they're exactly the same. We now have a virus tab down here. So if I run a scan, you're gonna see, even though I've opened up a new fresh version of Max, I have this virus in the scene. So I can simply get rid of that. And it's gonna remove that. And that is a script that has been maliciously put into uh, my startup folder or whatnot. So I'm, that's one of those things that's going on. Now, I'm going to open up a file that I know is infected. So this is um, a problematic file with a red teapot. Uh, there's nothing in here but this teapot. There's no real materials or anything on here. And if I go in here and do a scan, you're going to see that I have one type of virus in here. Now. If I was to go save this, clean it up, everything like that, I could actually simply just go in here and say, run this, get rid of the virus, save it, and I'll be okay. But this isn't something that you're going to want to do all the time. Um, it's, it's a pain to go through constantly running this to check if you have it. So up in our startup menu, we've put in two extra things. One is add virus callback, the other is remove virus callback. So I'm gonna add the virus callback now, and you can see it shows up and down here. I've added the virus callback, uh, and if I run remove, it removes it. Um, there should be no reason that you ever need to remove it, but we're just putting in that way, so if you wanna get rid of it, you can get rid of it. So I'm just gonna add it back in again, and I am gonna go and open up this scene, the infected file. Now, see down here, it says removed, one ALC virus. So what this callback does is anytime you open a new file, it's going to, after the file is opened, it's going to scan, and if it has a virus, it's going to automatically remove it. Now, this callback also works if I was to go in here and let's say, let's just go and we'll merge. So if I import merge in that same file, so let me just go to, oops, go to infected files, and we'll just bring in the virus one. And you'll see, I'm going to select everything here, and you're going to see it's actually just remove that virus again. That will pop up. Now, the last callback we have is on a save. So if I was to just clean up my listener, and I'm just going to go now save this file. So let's just go and I'm just going to press Control S. And you're going to see, before it saved that, it actually ran the check to see if the viruses were there and removed them. But in this case, since I already had it when I merged in this second teapot, uh, that it cleaned my viruses. So now there's no viruses found. So you shouldn't need to go in here and run this all the time to get rid of your viruses. I would recommend that you use our um, callbacks. Now, this isn't something that you have to do every time you fire up Max. Once you've installed this callback, it's always there until you remove it. So uh, anytime next day you open up Max, it'll be there. So don't worry about that. Um, so uh, I hope this sort of helps you out. Uh, this is in our free forensic. So you can go to SinaiSoftware.com. Uh, just simply sign up to our website, and you're going to download our full installation of our software which will give you this drop down menu and you'll see forensic is up in here now you'll have a blue banner if you're just using the free forensic if you have a full license you're using uh, it'll have the pink banner uh, there's no difference in the forensic it just happens that it's tied with all the other tools so um, I hope this helps you guys thanks a lot see you